This is group Diamond Dog's midterm finger puppet management presentation for our fall 2015 Principles of Management online class. Presented to you by Casey, Corey, Quentin, Sam, and Grayson. Summary. Our purpose for this project is to show our viewers how, one, our moral intensity factor relates to management and how people perceive a issue as ethical within a work environment. This is shown throughout our show by the struggles characters have with ethical decision making. Two, within our TV show we will demonstrate how various managers react to high stress and tough situations. While some managers might want to bend the rules, others will ethically try to save the day. Three, the decision managers make that affect the work environment while also impacting the local community. Plot, graying the lines. The general plot of our TV show refers to the permit for Mark's company, Gray Matter Corporation, to construct a landfill in a local basin. Richard is a, a director of Parks and Recreations in Nevada who holds the ability to give Mark the permit. Ultimately, he weighs out the options and decides that it would be beneficial if the basin stayed as a local hotspot for tourists. Ben is a local Parks and Recreation employee who is married to Susie. Ben is ultimately involved in a scheme that undermines management and is bribed into forgery of the permit for Gray Matter Corporation. The basin is what holds their family together and serves as a local hotspot for many other residents and tourists. Our first character profile is Mark. Mark is charismatic and sociable. He is clear and very concise in his words. He is thorough in his work and gets things finished on time. He's also interested in the inner workings and mechanics of his company, but secretly he is sinister and he brings conflict into our show. Mark serves to show the concepts of managerial roles, basic, basics of decision making, as well as showing the concept of purely rational management. Our second character profile is Richard. Richard is a stickler to the rule book. He's powerful in his department. He has the disturbance handler role. He is environmentally conscious, administrator, liaison role, manages at the park and recreation in Nevada. Richard serves to show the concepts of bounded rationality and management. The third character is Susie. Susie is nitpicky. She is financially responsible and savvy. She's family oriented. She's socially conscious. She's the wife of Ben. She's the manager of the household. Susie serves to show the concepts of gender focus and the planning process and provides a different perspective on the situation. Our third character profile is Ben. Ben is a parks and recreation employee in Nevada. Ben speaks to Mark in regards to his permit. He presents the conflict within the work environment and he disobeys the code of ethics within the Parks and Recreation organization. Ben is a seemingly bumbling employee and he serves to show the concept of irrationality and the after effects of management. Target market and audience. Our target market is individuals from the ages of 18 to 30. We are trying to emphasize the effectiveness a manager can have on its employees and how even the teeniest slip in one person's actions can alter the workplace as a whole. We also address the concept of workplace drama and making a decision after reaching the most logical approach. Format. Our presentation will be broken up into seven videos of various management concepts. We will address issues and aspects of the workplace. Plot development and entertainment is also an underlying focus. Each video will cover a topic that relates to management practices and or a concept of the management textbook. Video Breakdown, Episode 1. Episode 1. This episode serves as an introduction to characters and the concept of conflict amongst the community. The individual scenes are focused on introducing each character one at a time and developing relationships between the characters and the community as a whole. We plan on using the first episode as a sort of pilot and put the series on a path we think is best. Episode 2. 
This episode begins with Mark traveling to Nevada to talk to Richard about purchasing the permit for a landfill that Gray Matter Corp. wants to obtain. Richard is reluctant to give this permit to Gray Matter Corp. for the simple fact that they would destroy the ecosystem and create problems for the locals. Richard takes his issues up with the Parks and Recreation Department. He is the manager and director of Parks and Recreation Department and wants to talk to his team members about this. Episode 3. We look towards Susie and Ben's family who frequents the basin. Since Ben is an employee of Parks and Rec, he is aware of the problem at hand. Not aware of the situation back at home, Susie reads and hears about the possible loss of the basin to be used as a landfill. She contacts her husband, Ben, and is distressed as he tries to calm her down. He too is upset at the news, but more focused on bringing home money. This has uh, been a local family hangout spot for them for many years. Episode 4. Mark becomes impatient with Richard and trying to gain access to his permit. It has been a couple of days and the clerk at the Parks and Recreation Office said he would get back to him in the short time frame Mark has in Nevada. His flight leaves next Friday back to corporate headquarters. With a limited time frame, Mark tries to contact his boss and see if he can try to find another way to get a permit. His boss doesn't respond to Mark, which means that he is on his own to try and buy a permit. He has to make decisions based on what would be best for the company, the most profitable and the fastest way possible. In a last ditch effort, he decides to see if he can bribe Ben, the parks and rec clerk he spoke to in the first place to administer a permit. Video breakdown, episodes five through seven. Episode 5 is going to deal with the confrontation of conflict that Ben is faced with, the hard decision of whether to forge the permit for a large sum of money or not. Ben weighs the decisions and their possible outcomes and the possibility of getting caught. Ben ultimately breaks the company's code of ethics and forges the permit. This brings forth the conflict and introduces the climax to our audience. Episode 6 will be dealing with the great consequences of Ben's actions to give Mark the permit. It seems that Ben and Mark will get away with their crimes until Richard steps in to save the day by sabotaging Mark's construction project in the local basin. Episode 7 Without spoiling too much of the TV series, both Mark and Richard are surprised with the outcome of this riveting TV show as it reaches its thrilling climax. Our group's accomplishments. Milestone 1. Our first milestone was a 10 out of 10. We made a rough sketch episode introducing all of the characters and a slight summary of what the TV show was going to be about using the moral intensity factor as a basis for our TV show. For Milestone 2, we mapped out four episodes and made character bios. Our grade was a 10 out of 10 on this assignment as well. Essentially, we assigned minimal characteristics while giving the entire background of each character's situation. Why our show will succeed. We will succeed because our group is very effective in implementation of our ideas and our execution of various milestones and design challenges. Diamond Dogs, as a group, plans on submitting every assignment on time and to the best of our ability. Our show is the creative effort of our group members and constantly develops further the more effort we put into it. Our group is filled with highly intelligent and creative minds and we look forward to implementing the ideas and concepts presented throughout the book in our everyday lives. As a group, we have a few things to accomplish for the rest of the semester. We have milestones three and four to complete, create each episode for the final exam, episodes one through seven, as well as our finger puppet management booklet to complete at the end of the term, as well as our final. Credits. Diamond Dogs would like to thank Quentin, the script editor slash author, Corey, our group leader, Casey, the video editor slash videographer, Grayson, the creativity behind the concepts and themes of our group, 
And we would like to thank Sam, our sprite artist and puppet designer.